going to be installing the Windows file agent on a Windows server. This is to back up the file system of that box. First things first, you hard have, based on the other video, you've been through, you've installed Commvault so you understand how it works. So once you have it, you're going to install it on the Windows server itself, the one that you're actually going to be backing up, the file system itself. So once you do that, you're going to accept the terms uh, in the license agreement and click Next. You're going to do the click on the installation install packages. You're going to click on custom install or custom. You're going to highlight the file system and file system core uh, check marks. This is going to enable you to back up the Windows server file system and all of its files inside of it. You click next. You need the destination folder or the programs are going to be run, meaning the Commvault, uh, Commvault uh, software itself is going to be run. Define that and push next. And finally, you're, this is going to summarize what you're going to be installing. You selected the packages, the file system core, Windows file system, where it's going to be installed at, what is the interface name, what's the client name, and you in, click install. It's going to go through its steps installing the software. Afterwards, you're going to be left with the firewall configuration. It's best just to click next on this one. And here we go. You're going to be needing the ComServe name, meaning you're going to have the ComServe, excuse me, the Windows file agent be able to talk to the ComServe so that it can back it up. You're going to identify that ComServe host name and you're going to click next. It's going to be, this is the portion where you set up the, the communication pass to the ComServe meaning you're going to select the client name and you're going to select the interface that the computer will use to communicate with the ComServe and click next. You're going to do your firewall configurations and it's best to click no do not disable Windows firewall and click next. Then you're going to do the client certificate usually it's since there's no clients we're going to install we're going to click next. Finally the Windows firewall exclusion list. This is it's best to add the program to the firewall exclusion list and click next. Since we don't have any client groups set up, excuse me, since I've taken the liberty of already setting up the client groups, you can just create your own client groups and add your client group as needed. In our case we set up a Windows client group and we're going to select the client group of Windows and click Next. We're going to select the default uh, U cell level policy for the global filters. And then we have not yet set up a storage policy or a storage interface storage policy. Therefore, we're just going to click through this Next. And the configuration has been complete. So this is a completion report. Sampana software has been installed on version test successfully. In order to test this, we're going to log into our ComServe and we should see that our Windows client has been added to the client groups. This concludes the tutorial.